Hello there and welcome back to another edition of the Hotline Classic Remastered. This time we take a look at the 1997 Mitsubishi Mirage Asti ZR. As much as the name is very, very cool, the Mirage has been, well, anything but a Mirage on this series. The last one we had, the RX, was quicker than this and also wasn't very quick at all, so not got high hopes for this one but we'll see the front engine front wheel drive 233 horsepower 993 kilos pretty average statistics for a pretty humdrum car anyways to find out how it gets along it is going to get six laps of the motorsports land track in order to set the best time we possibly can our current leader is the mitsubishi lancer evolution 6 rally car which set a time of a 27.718 the mirage is likely to beat that the uh, the Mirage, so let's talk Mirage. The RX, which we had, which had a race mod, and I think 20 extra horsepower over this, it actually went into the series with quite high hopes because the FTO set a time of a 30.340, which was a very, very quick cut time for a front wheel drive car. So I drove the Mirage past the around here, and that wasn't a very, very quick car at all. It actually currently sits down in 162nd place with a 32.020, right around a bunch of K cars. So, yeah, hopes are not high for uh, this version of the Mirage, which is a more basic one, but we'll uh, find out. There's lots of Mirage Asties in this game. To be honest with you, it's a car that's quite forgettable. So forgettable, in fact, that you might forget it's even in the game in the first place. Uh, as I did, to be honest, I knew the, uh, the Mirage Cyborgs, were in the game, but for whatever reason, I never knew about the Asti Mirages until Fonda played this game in about 2016, and I was like, oh, oh, they, they were a thing? Wow, they kind of look like Evos. Although, in the case of this one, uh, you're going to hate me for saying this, the, the rear end of this kind of looks like a Mondeo. Or rather, it looks like a Mondeo, but it also looks a little bit like one of those really bad American cars, like really bad American cars, so like Dodge Avenger levels, so yeah, I mean, I suppose that's not surprising considering I bet the Dodge Avenger in this have quite a lot more in common than people would want to think, because the Avenger is basically an Eclipse, and uh, I'm actually not sure what the Eclipse is based on, but I'd imagine it's something similar to this. Um, Mitsubishi is on this course, I mean, obviously we know about the Evos, the Evos are insanely quick. But all the other Mitsubishis, eh, it depends. The, the, the Legnums and the Galants are quite quick. But the, um, you know, FTO is quick as well. But then you get, like, these Mirages, which are not quick. And then you get the Legnum ST with its wheezy 180 horsepower. Uh, and those cars are not very quick. So, yeah. And this is definitely in the not very quick section. The funny thing is, this isn't, like, bad to drive or anything, it's just very slow. A bit like that uh, Nissan Pulsar we had out a little while ago. The Pulsar, actually quite a good car to drive. It actually felt quicker than it was, but that was not... Yeah, it just wasn't quick. This, to be fair, doesn't feel quick, but... It doesn't feel like it should be this bad, really. If I'm being honest, so... <laughs> Yeah, but don't expect much out of these. Not going to be quite as quick on the uh, the way to the line. Thirty two point seven four nine. Um, yeah, that's that's it's it's not quick. It, it's not quick. Now, when you see where it goes on the leaderboard, you might be quite surprised to learn that that means it's not quick. But still, um, yeah, not ideal. Could it have gone quicker? No, I don't think it could, honestly. I know Sector 2 looks like it was so much quicker on that other lap. But, yeah, I, I don't see it. I don't see it. Anyways, a 32.749 will place this into 186th place. Yes, it goes in between a Lexus GS300 and a BMW 740i. But, it's still slower than a Subaru Vivio, Mitsubishi Mini Kadangan, Suzuki Cappuccino... 
uh, slower than the Aston Martin DB6. Admittedly, it's not the slowest Mitsubishi, the Legnum. Uh, it is quite significantly quicker than the Minica PJ. It's quicker than, but yeah, this is a uh, not a not a quick car. Unsurprisingly, it's also quicker than a base model Integra, so that's something. Uh, although that Integra did have a four speed, so. Mm. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Join me next time when I'll be driving something hopefully quicker. Until then, farewell.